Somebody has to be the best in the business. I'm an upland farmer with a spring carving subtler herd who's been producing Charolais carbs for the last 20 years. I moved on to the Charolais to improve the performance of my carbs. I sell them on to repeat buyers for finishing because he has found the genetics in the carbs has the ability for fast efficient growth which hits the top specification required by the abattoir. Cattle with high growth rates make more efficient use of feed, therefore feed costs per kilogram of live weight gain are reduced as is time to slaughter. It is essential that a modern beef system produces calves which grow quick when they are young, when the feed conversion ratio is at its most efficient. The bull calves have an average daily live weight gain of 1.63 kilo, with the heifers having a daily live weight gain of The type of Charolais bull I am looking for is a relatively easy carving one which leaves calves with good growth rates and good conformation. This is because as a primary producer I have to maximise my returns. We purchase our bulls through society sales. Our initial selection is made by viewing the online sales catalogue and drawing up a short list of bulls which meet our minimum selection criteria for carving ease, growth rate and eye muscle area. We then visit the sale and visually assess each bull before we make our final selection. Since the introduction of the Charolais breed plant system we have found that our bull selection has been made easier. We have found the bulls continually perform as predicted. This is a bunch of Charolais heifers from my single subtler herd. All the calves have classified R4L or better, with 90% of the bull calves classifying U or better, and 75% of the heifers classifying U or better. The Charolais give us a bigger margin for everybody right the way through the food chain. I have found that the Charolais is a complete package. started up breeding Charolais uh, about 1964 and the reason we did that was we had heard that Charolais were the best producers of weight for age. started the shop in 1974 and uh, it was based on Charlie Cross beef and we thought if we got maybe two or three years out of it 
that would be it. But here today in 2010, we're still working with it, and we can only suggest and and uh, that it was the Charlie Cross breeding that helped to keep us the way we're going at the present time. In 1974, when we opened the shop, beef collapsed, and we were actually selling sides of beef at that at that particular time uh, at, at uh, 23 pence a pound. Things improved about 1976, and we started producing our own beef from the Charlie Cross. Uh, we bought a pedigree bull, and uh, we, we discovered that the myth was true that the Charlies could produce beef uh, like no other breed could. We buy all uh, all our beef, what we can't produce ourselves, so we buy all from local farmers. There's no imports of any description come into the shop. It's all based on uh, the production line that we have set up with the local farmers. Is we give them a good price for a good quality product. Uh, we can we can get uh, top grades. A little bit of fat cover doesn't do any harm. Uh, if you have a beast that has a wee bit of cover, it gives it added flavour. Now, our, our customers keep coming back. And we can only say that we think it is because we use Charlie beef. They always say uh, that's Charlie beef you're selling. And it has helped us over the years since 1974, as I say, we have snowballed to we're still here in 2010. We're a farm shop out in the country. People have to have to come to us. They can buy cheaper beef, maybe out of the supermarkets, but it is not the quality that the Charlie produces. As if the customer keeps coming back for more, isn't that really all that you need? Uh, we hang all our beef for uh, a minimum of 21 days. And uh, the charney, when you cut a sirloin and, and uh, put it into the pan, pan fried or grilled, it has a unique taste. It has a tenderness about it that people enjoy and they come back for more. We have uh, supplied... Uh, Barbecues up to maybe six or seven hundred people, and we never, in all of those uh, times, we never had a complaint about the Charlie beef. They would always have said the tenderness seems to excel. Charlie beef is unique in its tenderness, its texture, and its eating quality. I hope everybody will agree with my choice today, but I'm very grateful to the Royal Arms for the honour and to the exhibitors for their efforts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Gus. So now it's over to you to select the overall Supreme Beef Champion and preserve and restore to the Germany for the two-man half-fifth.